Time now for Ask the Expert. We asked our viewers if they had any questions for our experts, and boy, did they provide us some good questions. So the owner of Sweeney's Gym, Michael Sweeney, is here to answer your fitness questions. These are really some, some good questions, so they really I are. like what they're saying. Here's question number one. If I have not worked out in years, what is the best approach at getting back into the gym as I am much older and have two beautiful children? This is from Michelle. All right, so this is what I'll say. So Michelle, step one is, A, I don't want you to be intimidated. So many people go mm. into a gym and they're, they're intimidated. Right. And you know, they always go in going at 110 miles per hour. So let's slow it down. Mm -hmm. Let's find a treadmill. Treadmill is simple. You get that treadmill. Michelle, get on that treadmill. You're doing a 3.0 to a 3.5 speed. It's a walk to a brisk walk. Mm -hmm. Week one, that's all you're doing. All right. Week two, you go ahead and you increase the incline. So you don't have to go into a gym and do weight training and, and crunches mm -hmm. and, and all of that. Because so. if you overdo it that first week, you're going to lose motivation over time here. Absolutely. Start slow, build. You have to be realistic. So you have to crawl. You know, before you walk, walk yeah, and walk then you, and then you, you run, run. Absolutely. And run before you so, sprint. so to really hone in on that question is this: the first four to six weeks, find a treadmill mm -hmm. and do just cardio. All right. Well, cardio is our next question. So someone is saying, when is the best time to do cardio in the morning or in the afternoon? This is from Kelly, and I suppose it depends on your work schedule, right? Absolutely. I love this question right. because you know what? The best question is this: what is the most convenient time for you to do it? Mm -hmm. Because you know, unless you are a professional, you know, fitness competitor or model, it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. So the average fitness goer that's looking to get in shape, yeah. just go ahead and find the convenient time. So if it's right. in the morning mm -hmm. or if it's at night. Right. If you have to be at work at 8 o'clock, it's hard to get your butt out of bed to get Absolutely. in the gym. and then to stay to, motivated. Right. And <laughs> if you get off work at 5, you're like, I'm driving home, I'm hungry, I don't want to go. So you got to find the right time that works Absolutely. for you. All right. This is going to be our last question. When do you recommend kids starting to do weight training? You this know is what? From Jeff. That's a little bit of a loaded question. Okay. So in a nutshell, this. When your kids are young, they need to be active. Okay? And anything body weight, so your basic push-up, pull-ups, things of that nature, maybe even body squats. Once your kids hit around six years old, mm -hmm. okay, depending on a lot of scenarios, you right. go ahead and you can incorporate, you know, some weight training movements with five or maybe even eight pound dumbbells. So start, it really determines. Yeah, start with the low weights before you build up to You have weights. to stay that way. All right, good enough. If you have a question for our experts, email them at asktheexpert at todaystmj4.com. You can also leave a voicemail. We do have the number right there for you. All right.